everybody, Derek Pierce here, and in this video, we are going to be talking about IFTTT Pro and if this is worth it and it, the changes that have recently been made to the platform and what I think about it. Is it worth investing in it and uh, kind of where I see IFTTT going moving from here? Now, first and foremost, I have upgraded to my main account with if this then that so uh, if you're not familiar with if this then that this has been a free service that's been around forever for as long as i can remember and i often said you know if you if they ever come to a point where they were you know it was a pay a paid subscription then you just need to pay it because they've been out here forever and it's been a pretty reliable service, and uh, I've been pretty happy with it, especially since it's free. The only problem and the only challenge that I've seen from If This Then That from an SEO perspective, and I know a lot of people use this for other stuff other than you know search engine optimization and, and brand awareness and all that stuff, but the thing that I see that the biggest challenge that I have with this platform, and it's the only complaint that I've had, has been that you can only connect one service. So in other words, you can only have one WordPress account. You can only have one Tumblr account. You can only have one Blogger account. What I would like to see moving forward from this, and this is just some constructive criticism for the community with If This Then That, is being able to have multiple platforms to where you can create real you know, complex type um, triggers. And so that's what I would like to see. I know that they're working on some different things and I submitted this to the team and they said, look, this has been a popular request over the years. We're going to see if we can make this happen. And for that, I really appreciate it because, um, I wasn't expecting to get a response back. But other than that, that's been my only, my only real issue with it. And so what has ended up happening is we've created all these IFTTT accounts for different websites, different brands, and different you know different clients that we've set up from a standpoint of SEO. So the way that I use IFTTT, let me just kind of explain kind of where I I use this and and how I use it. We go out and we create these for for each site that we build. Uh, if it's an affiliate site or if it's a you know, client website or something like that, we build out what we call a brand stack. Now, a brand stack is nothing more than just going out to all the popular, you know, social platforms and all the web 2.0 sites, sites like wordpress.com, sites like Blogger, sites like Tumblr, sites like Weebly. And we create these and we register the brand, the brand name. So in other words, if I was going out and building out this brand new to, you know, to a website, I would, whatever my website name was going to be, that's what my, that's what I would set this up as. So if it was for me personally, then it would all be Derek Pierce. And if Derek Pierce was already taken, then I would substitute it with something like Derek Pierce blog or Derek Pierce USA or Derek Pierce uh, official or something along those lines. So my, my website address would be Derek Pierce USA.blogspot.com or Derek Pierce USA.wordpress.com. Now those aren't taken. Just using that as an example, if, if those were already taken, that's kind of how I would do that. Um, but what IFTTT has done is they now have a paid option as what we're looking at here. And this is, again, this is one of the many accounts that I have, but you see where it says get IFTT Pro, you've created five applets. What they're allowing you to do is they're allowing you to create three applets of your own. So in other words, if you were to go in here and click create, then you're able to create three of these on your own. But now you can still go in and create tie into existing applets that other people have created. So if you click right here and you just see where it says upgrade, this kind of gives you a breakdown of uh, what you can do. You've got these, you know, different prices that you can set uh, for, you know, for the, for upgrading to that. But if you want to learn more, you, this kind of breaks it all down. So uh, if we go down here, let me scroll down where this says, you can turn on any or turn on an unlimited number of applets. These are applets that people have already built. In other words, you know, you could go out and, and you could tie into any ones that have already been published or you can, and you can create three applets of your own. Now, if you upgrade to the pro, then you get unlimited applet creation. OK, so from a standpoint of the way we use IFTTT, we're not really going to be that affected. 
So you can see here we created five, you know, we've created five applets. So what I would do is I would try to go in here and just do a search to find them already built. And probably chances are, are good that, that they're already built. You can see I've got 12 applets and uh, I've created five of them, okay? So that would knock me out of two of these if I wanted to create this, you know, create this account or to keep this account uh, up. So what I'll do is I'll just go in here and I'll just do a search. But getting back to the way that we use this, we use this whenever we build a brand, we then go out, we reserve all of these, you know, the brand, and we then tie them all together. So every time we make a YouTube video, every time we make a blog post, then what's going to happen is it's going to go out and it's going to notify the world. So what we like to do, and the reason we call this a brand stack is because we want to treat this just like a, a big brand would. If a big brand were just coming online, let's say if it was, you know, one of the biggest brands out there, let's say Coca-Cola, or if it was, um, if it was, you know, somebody like Under Armour or something like that, they would want to reserve their brand across as many of these profiles as they possibly could. So that's exactly the way that we treat this, but we go across all the social media accounts, Web 2.0 accounts, and what we're doing is every time we make a post, then it's going out to these properties and it's saying, hey, we made a new post over here at DerekPierceUSA.blogspot.com or DerekPierceUSA.wordpress.com, and then it drops a link back to that website. And so every time that we do that, that allows us to then focus mostly on just our content creation because now all of this, you know, all this other stuff is handling itself. So that's how we can literally be in all these places at once versus having to go in and manually log in, manually create a can, you know, manually create a post, manually do all this stuff. We we mainly then just are able to just focus on our content creation. We can create videos, we can create blog posts. Every time we publish something new, it's going to get dripped out to that network and it's gonna say, hey, Derek's made a new post and as a result, every time we're getting a link back to that original post. So if you think about it from this standpoint, every time we make a new post, in this case, we've got 12 applets set up on this one. Every time we make a new post, we're gonna get between, you know, we're gonna get roughly 12 backlinks every single post we make to the, to the new post. So that's going to help with our overall SEO process. That's going to help, you know, get found on other on other, the, the other social media platforms because each one of these has their own community in and of itself. So Weebly, that's going to bring you a little bit of traffic. Uh, WordPress.com can bring you a little bit of traffic. Blogger can bring you a little bit of traffic. It, it's not going to be like this huge amount, but you're going to see a little bit of traffic trickle through some of these other platforms. But as a result, there's this synergistic effect that your main domain and your main, if you're using YouTube, your main YouTube channel is benefiting because you're dripping these, you know, 12, 15 backlinks back to your, back to each of the individual posts. And as a result, they're getting links and your overall channel is benefiting from it. It's going to help you get found in the search engines, going to help you get indexed quicker. And also, it's going to allow you to be in all of these places without really having to do anything. So that way, you can then focus on the main core parts of your business, which, which is creating additional content. For example, with this video, whenever this video gets published, it's going to go out to WordPress.com. It's going to go out to my Twitter profile. It's going to go out to all these different places. And as a result... You can find it on all of those different channels. So that way my social profiles doesn't necessarily look like a ghost town because I'm, you know, having to tinker with a phone and stay on it 24-7 and, and then getting burned out. What this allows me to do is then just to focus on the main parts of my business that I want to focus on, which is content creation, and let all that uh, let all the software handle the uh, the do the heavy lifting for me by making these updates automatically for me. So in turn, I highly recommend IFTTT. Uh, there's a link inside the description. The uh, you can find that it's a it's a free resource. No necessarily not necessarily needed to upgrade to the pro account for what I'm using it for. You can still use this and uh, benefit greatly from it. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I release new videos every single week on digital marketing, affiliate marketing, and video SEO. Be happy to have you on the channel. Also, you can find a link to a free training that I recently did on how I make money from affiliate marketing. You'll find the link inside the description to that as well. Again, thanks for being here and I'll see you real soon.